course, tomorrow, 40 and 50 degree dew points. It'll be very comfortable sleeping weather uh, going forward. As far as what we can expect on the uh, satellite and radar, that's that line of thunderstorms. It's up near the cold front and it's all headed here. Now, these will probably fade away and then form again as we get into the overnight hours, especially closer to about sunrise when we'll start seeing that move into our west and north zone. Uh, you saw it there kind of blow by uh, <laughs> very quickly, but I'll explain what we just saw. Uh, the cold front is coming through and it's going to be through here early. In fact, we'll see probably by 4 a.m. West and North Zone, you'll be seeing some of that. And then about 7, 8 o'clock, that's going to be sitting right over top of most of Metro Detroit. So plan on a wet commute tomorrow. We're not anticipating anything strong or severe, but it's just the timing of it that's going to play havoc with the drive tomorrow. And then once that's gone, we're in the clear for rain until really the beginning of next week. And it's probably going to be Tuesday before we see another drop at that point. 67 tonight, showers and thunderstorms late. Again, this is going to be after midnight tonight, closer to daybreak tomorrow. Let's look at your high temperatures. Even though that the cold front is coming through at about 9 o'clock in the morning, we're still going to make it to the mid 80s in the afternoon. It's going to take a while before that cooler air sort of moves in behind that front. Plus, we're going to get a decent amount of sunshine uh, once that front leaves as well. So as warm as 85 down here in Luna Pier, Monroe, as you get into the west zone, remember that front comes through here early. Uh, in fact, uh, Right about sunrise, I'd say in Genesee and Livingston County, 80 degrees in Fenton, Flint and Howell tomorrow for highs and in our north. So we may see some 70s to finish things out. Plus, remember, about this time, that's when that real dry air is going to start settling in. So it'd be very comfortable finish tomorrow. Temperatures do get cooler going into the weekend, but still a nice stretch there Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures in the 80s, but, but very low humidity, especially for this time of year. And then the rain didn't come back till Tuesday, but I know a lot of folks to see that the lawns are starting to look yep. that that odd shade of green like they could mm -hmm. use a little drink here and there. Yep. But we may